Legends YouTube, Marvel 4 with Great American Survival. This week we're doing a special review. This week we've got the fall of 2016 Cairn Obsidian box. Um, Karen was nice enough to send us this box. Um, no, I did pay for this box. I wish it was free. Um, but um, it's a great box and um, I have peeked at it and I'm really actually surprised at what they sent us. Um, this is what they list as their little card. And it's, you know, talks about camping out, cooking out, and, you know, everything else. So, when you see a card like that, you're like, what did they send us? Um, I, it was, I thought this was really funny. I had somebody send me a video asking me if I, what I thought about the scrubba. Um, her name's Erica. Uh, Erica sent me a video asking me what I thought. And personally, I've just always used a dry bag and just done my laundry that way. And I also, if we're camping as a family, I carry a five gallon bucket. And it has, I have a plunger that I've drilled holes in and we just wash our stuff in that, rinse it off real quick and hang it on a clothesline. But this is a very compact version of that. It has a bunch of little plastic ribs inside of it, but it's a dry sack basically. And you put your clothes in there with a little bit of water and toss it around, play catch with it, doesn't really matter. But um, it's called the Scrubba. Pretty cool. Um, I thought it was pretty neat that they sent us one because like I said, someone had just told me, asked me what I thought about it. Uh, the next thing they sent us was the Crazy Creek Hex Chair. This is a collapsible fold, it's a roll up chair, but it doesn't fold like fold fold, but it rolls up. Um, you can also use it as a bed pad. Um, it's actually pretty padded. Um, pretty cool. I like it. I've seen these and I've seen a bunch of people camping with these and hiking with these and have them on their backpacks. Not bad. Off to a good start. Put that down there. Next, they sent us, I'm going to say the best for last because I thought it was really impressive because the box is a $200 a month, uh, a quarter box. And, um, one of the items was uh, 140 is 140 dollars just on its own, just one item. Um, this ain't it. The Yuko Flat Pack Grill and Fire Pit uh, packs pretty small. You can easily fit it in your backpack. Um, you can use briquettes. You can use, you know, timber. Um, you know, use your own timber tinder and uh, get a fire started and use it just to cook on. And I like the fact that it folds up like as small as it does, and it's got a grate. Um, this is really cool. Um, we do have a, I do have a steel grate that I carry, and um, when we go camping, and I just keep it on my trailer, and then we bring it in, and we'll build our fire, and we'll put it off, balance it off on some rocks. It always makes it where you can cook burgers and stuff, and cook it, and not have to cook it in a pan. It's just better flavor. Nothing better than a campfire grilled burger. Man, that's just awesome. Um, this is really cool. Um, I had not seen these, and Yuko does some cool stuff. Uh, they make a bunch of cool flashlights and some other cool gear. Um, but that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I will break it out and put it together, and I'll post a picture of it here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, the next thing they sent us was a craft functional sportswear comfort active comfort base layer shirt. Nice. Is this mine or mine? No, it's it's mine. It's a large. I wasn't sure if it was going to come. We got one in one of the other ones they sent us, and it was a, a small, so it was meant for Mrs. Mrs. Marvel Four. Not bad, nice base layer. I like that material. Um, craft, huh? I don't know. I like that. I like that it's got the breathable on the underside. That's nice. Um, this will be a good base layer uh, shirt to have. I like that. Nice. Nice, nice all the way around. I like that. And then um, the last thing they sent us was well they they did send us our little card and um it lists all the stuff they sent us and um the last thing they sent us was a bedroll 
And it's not just a basic bed, sleeping pad bed roll. This is a Nemo, the Astro Insulated Light 25 liter lateral air baffled insulated sleeping pad. This is a very nice sleeping pad. Um, I think I have a new sleeping pad now because I've been looking at getting into a new sleeping pad for my hammock camping. Um, I know it's not one that people, a lot of hike camp, uh, hammock campers recommend, but it's nice. It really is nice. Um, I'm looking forward to trying this. This is a cool, cool bedroll. Um, and it's, it blows up big. Um, it's a big, not a little one, but packs down really small. I like that. Um, Self-inflated, you have to blow it up, but that's nice. I like that a lot, guys. And it's insulated. It's not like it's just a big, like an air mattress. You can feel that it's insulated, so it's going to retain some of your heat in the winter time. That's nice. That's important. If you're looking for a good one, um, I've got a few, and I just don't use them a lot when I'm camping. Um, I just don't use them. Um, but I'll try that one out. Got a new one to try out? We'll see what it does. Um, quick question for you guys. Do you guys, um, do you guys listen to podcasts? I listen to podcasts a lot. Um, but a lot of them, there's, there's ones about cool outdoor stuff. There's ones about hiking and outdoors. There's ones that talk about getting outdoors. Um, there's some cool high, um, frontier fire, uh, firing some bushcraft ones. There's a lot of cool uh, podcasts. I like listening to it when I'm at work instead of just music. Uh, just because I, I like to learn. I also listen to a lot of audio books. Um, I like to listen to books. I like to listen to people talk about stuff. And I like it when it's not just senseless stuff. Um, I don't want to just sit there and listen to... I used to listen to comedy a lot. And I just sit there and laugh my butt off all day long at work. People look at you kind of crazy. You know? But um, I like ones where I'm learning. Especially when it comes to this stuff. When it comes to the outdoors. When it comes to hiking and hammock camping. And I've been hammock camping for a long time. And you always learn more. You can always learn more from someone else. Um, it's not necessarily that they've done more than you. It's just, like me, I've, I've, I haven't camp, hammock camped a lot in the wintertime anymore. I, I'll hammock camp here in Georgia in the wintertime. But I don't hammock camp like when I li lived in Washington. I never hammock camped in the wintertime when it snowed. Um, never did when I lived in Colorado. Um, I have hammock camped in Colorado in the wintertime. But not a lot of, not, not a whole lot. So, um it's going to be a new experience. I'm trying to get into it. I was invited to go on a camp out um, on a, on a uh, seven day hike up in Kentucky and that'll be in winter time. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. But um, I'm going to do a couple shout outs and uh, talk about some people. I hope everybody can have a chance to check out Cairn. Cairn is a great company. They're based in Bend, Oregon. And um, it's just a good company. Their little basic subscription box or $25 a month box is an awesome box. Uh, it's awesome for you to give as a gift. Um, I'm thinking about it. I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna. Do, I think next month I'm gonna give one away. I'll give away a Karen subscription box for the month and let somebody else try it and tell you what they think. Um, I've been a member for a while and you get credit points. So after every like six or eight months, you get a free box. And my my idea is I'll give it to somebody else. I'll send it to a, uh, a subscriber. And um, what we'll do is I'm gonna do a um, a 200 subscriber uh, giveaway and we'll throw that into it might as well right but um got a couple of um shout outs one of the newer ones i've listened to is a guy named jason mcdaniel check him out he's got a great site out there i will put the link below um it'll be in the descriptions none, none of these have a whole lot of um subscribers except for this one um i thought he was really cool he's kind of zany and i like him uh, the Bushcraft Hippie. If you're not familiar with him, check him out. You'll like it. He's got a young kid, but he's pretty cool. I like listening to him. This guy right here is another one. Um, the Cool Kid Survival. Cool Kid Survival is a young kid. His name's Josh. Um, does some cool stuff and um, just just young. And I, ha I, ha I can say my son's like that, but my son doesn't, isn't really into the whole aspect of making videos about himself yet. So I would love for him to. My son's uh, 15 now. I would love for him to do it. But uh, he, I, I have to pull his teeth to get him to be part of mine. So we'll see what I can do. Um, another one was a gentleman that does a lot of travel. Um, his name is uh, Scout for Life. 
and he gets to travel to a lot of places. I mean, he is in a lot of form, a lot of other countries, and um, in some pretty rural, um, off, like isolated areas. I'll give him that. Uh, Scout for Life, check him out, and um, the Handy Camper, Handy Camper, check him out, and it's H A N D I. All right, but. Guys, I hope everybody's getting ready. Uh, fall's here. Fall is the perfect time to camp. Fall is the time you want to get out there with your family and go find a great place to camp. Uh, the, you know, it's not so hot that it's unbearable. It's still warm enough where you'll want to get into a river or a lake and enjoy it. But um, it's a lot of fun, guys. I really enjoy fall camping. I love winter camping, but I, love, I really like fall camping because I get to camp more with my family in the fall. My wife can handle the summertime, but she really likes the fall because it's a little cooler, not quite as unpla un unbearable when you don't have air conditioning and everything. But um, it's a lot of fun. We love going camping, guys. I hope you guys do too. Get your kids out there. If you don't have kids, take somebody else's kids. Legally. Legally. Don't, don't, don't do the other. That's not good. Um, I'm, a, I'm a scout master here. Um, and I work with the kids and we get to take them camping once a month and we really enjoy that. It's a lot of fun. There's nothing like watching a kid's eyes when they're camping. Especially like, we have some boys that are new to our troop that just crossed over on our last camp out. We took them up, we were up on Lake Lanier here in Georgia. And um, man, it's just cool to watch them when they're freaking out at night for the first time. Um, then you got them first thing in the morning and they look like they they didn't sleep and their hair is all jacked up and they look like they slept underneath somebody else's sleeping bag like hiding um, it's just cool stuff man I mean it's memories we've had memories with our boys um, we not with my troop but with some friends of ours we went camping on a, on a had a bad camp out where we got caught in a real bad rainstorm and we were literally the adults we were both sleeping up against a big tent well, up against a cot holding the wall up because the wind was blowing so bad our kids still talk about that camp out, about how cool it was. And um, they sit there and they talk about it, uh, about how cool it was. It's, you know, camp outs like that that are memorable, uh, even their bad memories, they're really cool to have memories like that about camping, right? Yeah. My son just kind of lingered in out of the, out on the back porch. Um, he can tell you that um, he's had some bad camp outs, but those are the ones that they remember, guys. And um, you gonna come over here with me? Yeah. All right. That's Sammy. Sammy, say hi. Hi. And um, bad campouts are just part of it, guys. Um, you sit there, you, you'll you come back talking about that for years. You'll remember stuff like that. And when you sit there and you have good campouts, good campouts are great too. But the bad ones are the ones when they didn't bring a sleeping bag, so they had to roll up in a, in a horse blanket because that was all you had in your truck. Um, it happens. It happens. They don't bring a, camp, they don't bring a sleeping bag on a campout when they know it's going to snow. This is all stuff that has happened to our guys at one point or another. Um, but get out there. Take your boys and girls out there. Boy Scouts now, not just for boys and girls. I mean, now has boys and girls. Uh, the older boys from 14 to 21, for they have the, the crew. And the crew has boys and girls. They're just now starting out a new thing for Boy, Scout, boy Scouts involving girls. And that's starting out in the young, era, young age. Um, they call it the Lion's Den. And uh, it's boy scout, it's boys and girls, and it's um, kindergarten. It's kindergarten up to first grade, and then they, in first grade they start Cub Scouts. Check it out. See what you guys find out. Find out one local, and you'll you'll get your kids involved. Um, you won't regret it. Uh, it'll change their lives forever. Hope everybody has a great week. Um, get out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy nature. What do you say? Say bye. Peace. Get out there. Be prepared. Stay safe. And God bless. And we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. I dab at the end. <laughs>